A block of base 24 kg is on a rough horizontal table. As soon as I read rough horizontal table, I know that there's some frictional force acting on the block, right? And then it goes on to say a force F is applied to the 24 kg block at an angle of 30 degree, 35 degrees to the horizontal. The 24 kg block experiences a force of friction of 7 newton as it moves. We are even given the frictional force, right? Uh, it goes on to say that the block is connected by a light inextensible rope which passes over a light frictionless pulley to another block of mass 12 kg, uh, clearly uh, indicated on the sketch, uh, which hangs vertically as shown in the diagram below. And we are told to ignore the effects of African as we always do. And then it's go, it goes on to say that the 24 kg block moves to the left at a constant velocity. So the 24 kg block is moving to the left. Let's just indicate that. And then now 2.1 says, uh, state Newton's second law of motion. We know that F net is equal to MA. And if we make A the subject of the formula, uh, we get A is equal to F net uh, divided by M. So clearly here, if you apply a F net on an object, the object will accelerate in the direction of the net force uh, with an acceleration uh, that is directly proportional uh, to the applied force and inversely proportional to the mass of an object clearly and then you can also say that f net is equals to delta p divided by delta t uh, that is newton's second laws in terms of momentum and it will, it will say that the net force acting on an object is equals to the rate of change of momentum of the object and then now we can move to 2.2 2.2 says what is the resultant force acting on the system uh, if you pay attention to this statement here it says that the 24 kg block moves to the left at constant velocity constant velocity uh, implies that our acceleration is equal to zero if acceleration is equal to zero and f net is equal to ma then f net is equal to zero newtons so 2.2 we have zero newton and then now we can move to 2.3 2.3 says uh, draw a fully labeled free body diagram to all the horizontal forces acting on the 24 kg uh, body right so uh, that's our free body diagram there and then we have the tension as a consequence of uh, the string attached to the 20 kg block right and then we also have friction that is going to the right because our object is said uh, to be moving to the left, right? And then uh, our force applied uh, is supposed to be moving to uh, the left, right? So we have force applied here. Uh, I'm trying to make the arrow of the force applied to be equals to the tension plus the friction, right? Uh, because uh, these forces are balancing out. As a consequence, our object is moving at um, constant velocity or with an acceleration of zero. Uh, so now we can go to 2.4. Uh, before we go to 2.4, if you want to uh, support the channel, uh, please check the link on the description there. And then uh, 2.4 is saying calculate the tension in the rope, right? For our 24 kg block, we don't know what the tension is. Uh, we know what the friction is, but we also don't know what the force applied is, right? Uh, but for our 12 kg block, uh, let's have a free body diagram for our 12 kg block. Uh, we have the tension uh, that is pushing up and then we have the weight uh, that is pushing down right and then uh, we know the weight obviously because we have the mass uh, the, the only unknown variable is the tension so here clearly uh, it, it will be easier for us to use the 12 kg block to find the tension uh, versus the 24 kg block right because on the 24 kg block at this point we have two unknown variables so for the 2 kg block uh, so i'm writing 2 kg uh, we have F net 
equals to the mass multiplied by the acceleration uh, so it's just two forces uh, the weight uh, minus the tension is equals to uh, ma uh, these two forces are said to be equal right so the order really doesn't matter uh, but usually i start with the bigger force and subtract all the other forces so what is the weight the weight is 12 minus 9.8 uh, minus tension being equals to um, this is 12 kg not 2 <laughs> being equals to uh, 12 multiplied by 0 because we know that it's moving at a constant velocity so we're gonna have minus tension being equals to minus um, let me just put that in my calculator real quick I uh, don't want to embarrass myself right so we have um 12 multiplied by 9 comma 8 uh that is 117.6 so our tension is basically 117.6 newtons um yeah 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 um it says so let's calculate the tension right so we can put a direction here so for the 12 kg block it will be uh to the left right and then for the 24 kg block it will be to the right yeah uh so let's do 2.5 2.5 says let's calculate the magnitude of force f so now if we come back to our free body diagram for the uh, 24 kg block now uh, this unknown variable of tension we now have it right so we have tension we have friction we just need fa so again we're gonna say 24 uh, kg and then we have f net equals to ma and then uh for supplied we see that it's supposed to be equal to the tension plus the friction right so it's bigger than uh those individual forces so we're gonna have uh f applied cos of 35 plus um minus tension uh minus friction is equals to ma now let's talk about this cos 35 so for supply the first supply is at an angle of 35 degrees to the horizontal right we want to resolve it to the x along the x-axis on a flat surface we use cos and then on an incline we use sine clearly we on a flat surface here so that's why we see in fa cos of 35 uh so so it will be fa uh, cos of 35 uh, minus 117.6 our tension and then minus uh, 7 is equals to uh, 24 multiplied by 0 why am i saying minus 7 uh, look here we are told that the frictional force is 7 newton right uh, so from here uh, what are we what are we gonna have what are we gonna have uh, we're gonna have fa cos of 35 uh, equals to 24 multiplied by 0 is 0 right and then uh, we take in minus 117.6 and minus 7 to the right hand side we're gonna get 124.6 uh, we divide both sides by cos of 35 um, so 124.6 divided by cos of 35 so I'm getting a force applied here of 146.1343 uh, newtons to the left uh, we only um, actually it's not to the left it's at an angle of uh, 35 degrees right yeah uh, plus even the question only um, leads us to find the magnitude of force F so 2.6 says force F is now removed uh, that the magnitude of the normal force increase decrease or remain the same so let's you know find a, a formula for uh, the normal force so that we can see what happens so here on our object uh, when we're talking about the normal force we now pay attention to the forces acting on the vertical right um the normal force is pointing up obviously and then we have the weight going down 
and we have uh, F applied to the Y, right? So clearly from these forces, the normal force is supposed to be equal to the weight plus F A Y. So if you remove this force, the normal force will stop. Clearly, <laughs> the normal force will go down. So here we're going to have a uh, decrease. So let me show you something. It will not always go down when you remove a force. Uh, let's say this force, uh, the force applied was acting up, right? Then we're going to have uh, the normal force and then F applied Y and then down we still have weight. So from this sketch here, we're going to have the normal plus F A Y equals to the weight. So the normal is equal to the weight minus F A Y. Clearly, in this case, if you remove F A Y, the normal would go up. 